we'll start the recording here. So up first, we got our pre-war mixer break. Oops, and uh, also we've got eBay auctions on modern basketball if you're into that sort of thing. But there are 90 cards in this break. We sold 89 spots, gave one away. Every spot gets a card. Uh, you know, they're about half and half on graded versus raw. I actually didn't count them, but uh, you can see, so this checklist is the same one that was on the break page, so you can still access that. So if uh, if it says the, the grading company, then, then it's graded. If it doesn't, then that's just my assessment on condition. So, of course, you know, we're talking pre-war here, so, so nothing super high grade, but that does not detract from the value or the beauty of these cards. I mean, these things are, you know, we're talking a century old, some of them older, some a little bit less, but, you know, we can round to a century. So we've got everything from, you know, some, some E95 Car Philadelphia Caramel cards all the way to 33 Gaudis with uh, some T205s, T207s sprinkled in the mix. So what we'll do, if this is your first time breaking with us, we've got our list here with 90 names in it. However many spots you bought, that's how many times your name is in this list. We'll paste it into uh, random.org's list randomizer. We'll randomize it three times so it's nice and shuffled up. And then on that third time, that'll be the one that sticks. We will then copy that randomized list of names, paste it right next to this checklist. So whoever's name comes out of the randomizer in spot number one, We'll get the E95, you know, Frank Chance card. Whoever's name comes out of the randomizer, you know, in spot 30 gets the Matthewson. Now, we uh, we will read through all 90. I won't show all 90, so uh, some of them we'll just we'll just skip over um, showing. And uh, it it should be a lot of fun. So we'll get to see a nice sampling of some different sets from the era as well as uh, see see who hit the big hits. And then as soon as the break's over, I will post this uh, post the sorted results for your reference. Congrats to David Brown for winning the free spot in the break. Hey, Jeff, good to see you in the, in the, in the chat, man. It's, it, it's been a while to catch you on the broadcast, so glad, glad to see you. Um, so congrats to David. If you don't get in on those free spot giveaways, you really should. Um, I always post it up on Facebook and Twitter. Every now and then, Instagram, but really, I, I, I don't quite get the Instagram. I guess I'm too old. I don't know. Um, but give away a free spot in, in most of our breaks that have 100 spots or more. This one, you know, we were close enough at 90, so gave one away anyway. So good luck on those. So we'll go ahead without any further ado. We'll get this random going. Right, 90 names, copied, pasted. All right, now again, we'll randomize this three times. Good luck. One, two, three. All right. that over just a touch not that far and not that far and it's thinking all right I'll insert a cell here so we're lined up one to one I gotta make these just a little bit smaller so we can see everything all in one place Beautiful. All right, now, a little smaller window so we don't see too much at once. Spot one, the E95 chance goes to Jeffrey Carlson. Here is the chance. Nice looking. SGC one, and uh, it is a one because there's uh, some paper loss on the back, but but 
really nice card. Love the, the Philadelphia Caramel set. A lot of these Caramel cards from this era have, have really gone underappreciated for the last decade, in my opinion. Um, some really, really classy looking cards. Um, but I hear you, Paul. I hear you. Nothing like vintage cards. E95, uh, Wiltsy goes to Fred, Fred Mose. This is an SGC two and a half. Gorgeous color. Fantastic looking cards. Right, we'll get into some of our T205s here. Uh, we've got, now, now y'all have to forgive me because some of these guys, I just, I'm going to say it the way I've always said it in my head. No idea if these guys' names are right. So Dustin, you get uh, the Abichio, Ab Abichio, see I can't even say it out loud. We've got Leon Ames, goes to Joseph Cerullo. Ames is a nice looking one here, PSA 3. which, in my opinion, we're talking pre-war. PSA 3 is like mid-grade. So, nice nice gold border, which, really, they did like this flecking uh, on the border, which is which is pretty cool. I don't know if you can... It comes through very good on webcam. but Man, it's gorgeous in person. If you've never had one of these, uh, love, the, love the T205s. Uh, let's see, the Austin goes to Jared Houston. Batch goes to Chris Felderman. Batch here is... Uh, love those designs. So he's a PSA 2. This is a polar bear, so polar bear there. A little tobacco stain for, uh, for good measure. Then the Ames here was see a sweet, sweet caporal. So the different tobacco cards at different uh, companies that, that they're advertising for that were all part of the you know the big the big tobacco trade organization, which I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. But uh, then we got Bergen goes to Dustin Norton. Bergen here's SGC four. We've got Besher goes to Thomas Bissett. We've got Birmingham goes to Jared Houston. See, I'm from Alabama, so I want to say Birmingham. I'm guessing his name wasn't Birmingham. Um, then let's see, Blackburn goes to Michael Newman. Bransfield goes to Jared Houston. Briss Lord goes to James. Briscoe Lord goes to James Hop. Bjorn goes to Kyle Kaysen. Kerrigan goes to Joseph Cerullo. Dixon goes to Bradley O'Connor. Darity. Uh, White Sox goes to Scott Owens. Always like this card too. SGC2. And we've got Ingle goes to Sandra Aranios. Ewing goes to Angelo. Ferguson goes to Paul Ron. Fletcher goes to Greg Ritzer. Ford goes to Russell Gomes. Frick goes to Angelo. Here's the Frick. PSA 2.
Brick was also a polar bear. Uh, here, get us a different back here in a second, I think. Uh, let's see, we've got George Graham goes to Chris Felderman. Then George Gibson goes to Paul Ron. There's Gibson for the Pirates, PSA 3. Piedmont back on this one. Then we've got, oops, got distracted, sorry. Herzog goes to Bill Floyd. Hudgens goes to Dustin Norton. PSA 3 on the Hudgens. Then we've got Jack Murray goes to Vincent Bonanno. Lennox goes to Nathan Shelton. Livingston goes to Michael Swafford. And Christy Mathewson goes to Jeffrey Gone. Nice one to tune in for, Jeffrey. Matthewson here, really gorgeous looking card, SGC Authentic. Don't ask me what's wrong with it. I mean, maybe it's a hair short. Maybe. You can just, you know, see barely through the space in the gasket, but I, I don't know. It's a go gorgeous card, gorgeous card. Some of these you just never get tired of looking at. But we should move on. Okay. Uh, McElveen goes to Matt Pottle. PSA 3. Now, I'm not showing all, even all the graded hits. I mean, a lot of these cards are graded through here. Plenty of plenty of thirty, forty, fifty dollar cards that that aren't even showing up here as hits. Um, well, probably all the fifty dollar ones, but definitely some thirty and forties that aren't. Um, Moran goes to David Fairbairn, and if you want to know, you know if the conditions on the checklist as well. I'll make sure the conditions on the sorted one I post. I just didn't have room to show everything. On the screen here. Aldering goes to Russell Gomes. Paskert goes to Paul Ron. Phelps goes to Jamin Castleman. Rucker goes to Pete Stanley. There's the map Rucker, SGC3 for the Brooklyn Dodgers. It's a sweet cap roll. It's uh, not in that red font on the back. All the little variations from card to card. And, you know, the little minor differences they had depending on when they were printed are just so fascinating. All right. Then we've got Schaefer. Goes to Jeffrey Gone. Schaefer's uh, an SGC4. A little bit of toning on the gold on this one, which is also interesting. But SGC4 on it. Schley goes to Jamin Castleman. Schmidt goes to Vincent Bonanno. Scott goes to David Brown. All right, congrats, David. Nice free spot for you. You got a T205 graded SGC4. Nice hit for your free spot for sure, man. Congrats. Let's 
This one's a Piedmont. All right, then we've got Sheen uh, for the Rustlers. Goes to Rich Rich Anton. Now the Sheen is a pretty sweet one. Sheen's a cycle back, which is a little bit tougher. Nice hit for you, Rich. See there, cycle cigarettes. Got Simmons goes to Duke Puckett. Stanage goes to David Falk. Tannehill goes to Matt Pottle. Tim Jordan goes to uh, John St. Martin. Now that's uh, Sporting News. Doesn't look like I pulled that. I meant to. Um, here, bear with me a second. I'm going to show you all the Sporting News. So I don't think we've had one of those in a break before. Yeah, you're there. Whoops, I hit the camera. Forgive me. All right. So, Sporting News. So, their uh, catalog designation is M116. They're really nice looking cards. The backs. Some of the coolest part, unfortunately, this one does have paper loss, but nice blue text. Oh, Jeff, thanks for closing it out for us. So we'll do the 79 tops, tops break as well. Uh, pack break. Then we've got Bobby Wallace with cap. Goes to Paul Ron. There's your Hall of Famer, Paul. SGC2 on the Wallace for the St. Louis Browns. We've got White goes to uh, Nick Frank and Wiltsey goes to Jason Shepard. Now we're into our T207s. So, not done a whole lot of T207s in our mixer breaks in the past. We've had a couple, but uh, got a nice little grouping in this one. So, Ball goes to Jeffrey Gone. So, T207s are characterized by their uh, brown background, which is going to kind of look black because of my lighting here. But, but that's a brown background. Really nice, glossy finish on these cards. And uh, this is Recruit Little Cigars. A couple of different types of backs in T207s, which honestly I'm not I'm not nearly as familiar with as the T205s and 6s. But they are gorgeous. We got Barry goes to Angelo. Camnitz goes to Mark O. Camnitz wind up. The thing I love about these pre-war cards is, man, they're, they're really just works of art. I mean, nobody took a picture and just put it in a computer, but man, they, uh, they really are works of art. Just fantastic detail. Yeah, the T207 is definitely a little bit of a unique look. Oh, and I didn't show the berry. Here's the berry. So it's a horizontal card. We've got Chalmers. Oh, and uh, the cabinets went to Mark O. Chalmers goes to John Farstfelt. Covington goes to Angelo. Devlin goes to Vincent Bonanno. Fromm goes to Thomas Bassett. Gardner goes to Jeffrey Nepa. Hageman goes to Nathan Shelton. Latham goes to David Brannick. 
Lee Field goes to Jared Houston. Lennox goes to Vincent Bonanno. Lively goes to Todd Sass. Mylan or Milan, depending on where you're from, goes to Paul Ron. Uh, Morgan goes to John St. Martin. O'Brien goes to John Farsfelt. Yeah, Jeff, I, I've actually got oh, four or five of those in stock, so uh, I, I should put an 80, 80 tops basketball up soon. Um, I'll do that probably in conjunction with uh, the modern mixer break that goes on sale later this week. Add a little little spice. Uh, then T207 Willie goes to Josh Bailey. Got Williams goes to Todd Billings. Like the Williams, I know some of you guys. Some of you guys are catcher collectors, especially if they got the old chest protector on them. There's a Williams with a chest protector for you. He's also a Yankee, so that sheer thing. Right then, Wiltsy goes to Jared Houston. Wolverton goes to Jeffrey Nepa. Such a good name, Wolverton. Uh, Zeter goes to Chris Felderman. Then we got some strip cards. Uh, so the W514, the Collins goes to uh, James Hopp. Whiteman goes to David Brannick. And the W551 goes to, which is Baker, that goes to Greg Ritzer. So here's the Frank Baker. These are strip cards. They they were they were issued in strips, and so they're they're hand cut. You know, they weren't in packs as single cards. So there's Baker, but man, some of the images are cool. They've been underappreciated in the past. They've really seemed to have picked up in popularity. Um, they're all blank backs. Um, really picked up in popularity over the last few years. Bancroft goes to Todd Sass. And we got two Bancrofts. And the other one goes to Randy Jones. So that's 73 and 74. So you can check the Check the checklist and see which one of those y'all got, guys, because I don't have those in front of me. Then uh, Barnes goes to Vincent Bonanno. Then the Speaker, which is a fantastic card, goes to Jason Shepard. As long as I don't crush the camera with it. There's a Speaker. That's a PSA 5. Now, you might ask me, how come some of these hand-cut cards get number grades and some of them don't? And I'll be honest with you, I'll say I, I have no idea. It's a nice hit on the speaker there. And it's a PSA 5, so it's a really nice hit. There we go, that's better focus. Really nice hit for you, Jason. And same set, Jeffrey hit the Stingel. One and a half here. The other cool thing about strip cards is sometimes the images are grossly inaccurate, which is also fun. All right, so we got Frisch goes to Joseph Cerullo. Right, now we're into the Gowdies. I only picked out a couple of these to show you. We've got Lafayette Thompson, goes to Chris Felderman. Taylor goes to Dave Fairbairn. Fonzica goes to Michael Swafford. And the Ruth goes to Joseph Cerullo. Huge hit, Joseph. Yellow backed Ruth, yellow background Ruth, I mean. 
Of course, this one's trimmed, but it does not detract from the fact that that is a that's a tough card. So if you've if you've noticed, I actually got a group of all four roosts that were all four trimmed, and they've made their way into uh, mixer breaks over the last few months. They were all from the same collection, all pulled off of the same scrapbook, which was pretty cool. Um, all right. So we got Tom Zachary goes to Justin Loza. Got Oswald Blug goes to Bill Floyd. Woody English goes to Jeffrey Gone. Clint Rem. Goes to Kyle Kaysen. Ray Binge goes to Russell Gomes. Al Sporer goes to Dave Fairbairn. Billy Hargrave goes to Tori Siafe. Oh, and the Hargrave, the Hargrave I was going to show because it's it's a nice looking PSA four. And then George Wahlberg. Goes to Nathan Shelton. All right. So that'll do it for the pre-war mixer break.